Hi, my name is Nicole Douglas, and I'm a piano teacher based near Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to give you a tour of what the student app looks like for Tonara. This assumes that the student has already logged in. If you need help with doing that, you can email support at tonara.com or talk to your teacher. Please note that this is showing what the app looks like on an iPhone SE, so the screen is a bit small. What you see may look a little bit different. When we look at this main screen here, you'll notice that there are zero total points and zero average practice minutes. That's because this is an account that I just set up so I can show you what it looks like for a brand new student. You'll see this pink box that says a new week, a new lesson. You can click on the X there to make that message go away. The teacher has already put some assignments in the list here. And if you scroll down to that bottom of the list, you'll see practice any piece you like. And that's a way for you to earn points if your teacher hasn't sent you assignments or if you want to practice something that's not on the list. In the top left corner, if you click on those three bars, you will be able to access the section called My Profile. This is where the student or you can change the password. You can also scroll down to the bottom of that list and see if the teacher is connected to your account. Your teacher's name should show up there. If it doesn't show up there, you'll want to find out what your teacher's username is so that they can get connected to you so they can see your practice minutes. You can also edit your picture by clicking on the circle in the middle of the screen and it will allow you to upload a picture from your device or to take a picture. Back on the menu with the three dots, you'll see something called music events. That's where you'll see a list of future lesson times. And if your teacher has added any events in there like recitals, that would show up there as well. You can also see that there is something called advanced. If you click there, that is where you'll go to clear your cache if you're having any trouble with the app. And Lily, who is the support person, asks you to clear your cache. Down at the bottom, you'll see the logout option. If you have multiple children in your house, taking lessons and using the same device. You can log out and log back in for each student. Some simple solutions that I found for my students is if we keep the password the same for all the students in the same family, then they just type in their username, which is usually just the student's name. And then it's, quick, it's pretty quick to switch back and forth between students. You can also sync across devices. So if you happen to have multiple devices, you can change who uses which devices. You can also log into your own phone as a parent and look up what's happening. Uh, they don't have to use the same device every time. If we go back to the main screen and click on the part where it says total points, it'll take you to the leaderboard so you can see all the students that are in your teacher's studio and how you're doing with your practice for the last seven days. Remember that this is only the last seven days of points, so the point numbers that you see here might be different from what you see on the main screen. It refreshes daily at midnight at UTC time, and that allows students who have been using the app for a year to be compared against those who are just barely beginners. So if they are upset about some points that have dropped off of this leaderboard, then that would be a great time to motivate them to go practice more so they can get more points. You can also click on global to see the top 50 practicers in the whole entire world. On the home screen, if we click on average practice, it'll take you to the practice statistics section. You could log in to the Tanara account on your own device and you're away from home or when you're out of town and you wanna to check to see how much your child is practicing. Back on the home screen, let's talk about what it looks like when you click on an actual assignment. So the first assignment listed here is Gallup Pony. If we click on it, you'll see that the teacher has set up a specific amount of time that they want their student to practice. So in this case, it says four days and one minute per day. That's because this song is particularly short. You can see which book the song is in. The teacher has added instructions for the student at the bottom in a text box. The red square indicates that there's an audio file attached to the assignment. In this case, it's a track that came with the book to help the student practice along with something that was originally on a CD. And that makes it so that you don't have to have a CD player, you can just click play. If you would like to have your child earn points while they're practicing along with the practice track, then they can click play on the track and then immediately click start practice. And it will take them to this screen where it will start to listen to them play. Now you can tell that I'm talking and it's saying it's so quiet in here, start playing your instrument. It's going to be listening for the timbre of the instrument. So since this student has been assigned to practice piano, it's going to be listening for the piano. Now, 
if you wait just a minute, even though that timer's running, the timer there is to time how long you've been using the assignment. It's not actually gonna give you points for the time that you're not practicing. So it's saying it's so quiet in here because it doesn't hear the piano being played anymore. So you only earn points for the time that the actual instrument is being played. So I'm gonna push pause right now. And then we could click continue if we wanna continue practicing this assignment. But I'm gonna click finish. And you will see, there'll be some cheering. And it'll say you've completed your assignment if you did, or you can come back and do that again later. And we've earned 23 points. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click this X right here to get out of this assignment. And I'll show you what the twinkle twinkle looks like. And it also has what's called a compare recording in it. The yellow box that you see there is a recording that the teacher made that the student is to listen to and then play back exactly as they heard it, as closely as they can. I'm gonna pretend that I'm the student and I'm going to have already listened to the compare recording and I wanna click start practice. So here we go. And it's saying to play it one time. This is an assignment where it will automatically record what they're practicing so it can be sent to the teacher if the student chooses to do that. It's important to understand that the app itself does not record any practice unless a student chooses to record it, which they can do at any time, or unless they're practicing with a compare recording assignment. So otherwise it's listening with the onboard microphone built into the device, but not saving any recordings. So once they've practiced with the compare recording, they will get to see a grade of A, B, C, or D on pitch, fluency, rhythm, and tempo based on how they do compared to that recording. So it is pitch based, so if, if your child is struggling with getting a D in pitch, it might be that their piano might need to be tuned, so that would be something to be aware of. If it's not a compare recording, you won't get grades like this, but you can share that with your teacher. If you want to send the actual recording to your teacher, you could do that there. Okay, I'm going to click X to get out of that, and you'll see that we've earned 17 points for this particular assignment and click close. So because this assignment does not have a practice time requirement in it, it means it's on the honor system that the student just marks as done at the bottom. So they'll be able to earn points for practicing it, but there's no specific time requirement. So in this case, because there was a recording that was made for Twinkle Twinkle, it automatically created a recording that gets saved in the media library. If you open it up and change the name of the recording if you'd like to, we can share it with anybody we want to. We can download it if we want to. We can listen to it if we want to. So if you as a parent want to save what your student has been practicing, you're welcome to do that. You can also delete it if you don't want to have a copy of it in Tonara anymore. There's just a couple more things I want to show you. In the bottom right-hand corner where you see the FA, that's referring to the fake account teacher that this fake student has been connected to. This is a great place where students can come and say, I can't remember where this key is, or I don't know what this sounds like, or I forgot what this word means. This is a great place to ask questions to teachers during the week. So let's say I just started using Tonara, and then we'll click send and it just sent a message to the teacher if they want to send stickers to their teacher they can click on the the sticker button right there and you'll see that several of them are unlocked right now and then the more they practice the more of these stickers will become available for them to use they can send pictures they can send audio messages they can attach things that they want to send to the teacher so what I found with my students is this is just a great way to feel connected and not alone when you're practicing at home. In the chat section up in the top right corner, you'll see a messages button. You'll see a list of uh, conversations. And if the teacher has grouped a few students together, they can chat with each other. The whole studio, if they're grouped together, can chat with each other and support each other. You can set up practice buddies. You can, you can do all kinds of things to help create a sense of community so that we're learning together. I have a friend, Luann Pope, who's just amazing with being creative. Her students just totally get on and encourage each other, like, have you practiced yet? No, I haven't, but I'm about to. And, or they'll set up composition uh, challenges, like I'm gonna write a piece about ice cream and somebody will say, hey, I love that, what if you tried this? And so it's a really cool way for community to be developed while you are learning piano. 
if we click on Lily right here, this is where if your student is stuck or something has gone wrong with the app, click on that and Lily in the main office will be able to look up your account information, the time of day that you were logged in when you had the problem and, and help you troubleshoot from there. All right, if you have any more questions, please reach out, support at tonara.com. All right, thanks.